Take two. So they've moved most of the brood over. Uh, you can see there's still a couple of pleats. It looks like one larva. Ugh. And they're just ganging up on her, trying to get her to move over. And she is not, uh, not like being handled. Suspicion this is going to go on for a while. But you can tell they're actively trying to move her. She doesn't want to go. Quite a few ants still over here. I haven't looked at the other colony to see how many, or the other nests to see how many are have moved over, but it does look like a majority of the brood. It looks like there's quite a few new ants. You can see the lighter color. Look at that. I'm sure for some of you this is something you've seen before, but this is a first for me. So I don't know what all these other ants are. They are. They're part of this. Uh, you can tell it's, um, now if you've seen some of my previous posts, it's definitely less cluttered up here. A lot of new ants have emerged. Uh, there are pleased, I'm kind of curious as to how they're going to move them. But um, the most important one, obviously, is, is oh, there she goes. There she goes. Look at that. Just grabbed her by the mandibles and pulling. Wow. Pulling in the wrong direction. Got it. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Stay with her. Come on. Look at that. Oh, so close. There you go. That is beautiful. <laughs> that is just very cool. Let's go back over here, see what's going on now that they've got the queen. Gotta get the uh there were pleats over. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tickled that they got the queen over. I knew that was going to be a challenge. I'm, I'm, and I'm glad I was actually able to witness it. That, that's really cool. Yeah, I figured it was going to happen in the middle of the night. I didn't think I'd be lucky enough to actually witness them moving her. And I, part of me wants to switch over. I've got the other, um, call it, or the, um, the nucleus, all the new nest. I have it all. Um, blacked out make it more attractive so part of me wants to open it up to see her kind of move through there but the the other part of me just wants to let her settle in I'm sure this was more than a stressful experience for her so I'd like her to move in there and I'll check her out here in an hour or so well, and there you have it she is in her brand new home her Tar Hill Ants Nucleus number two, or Nucleus two. So there they are. There's the brood, the larvae, the pupate. I'm sure there's some eggs. Most important member of the colony, the queen, is in her new digs. 
cricket that I gave him yesterday. I got a water tower. So now the next uh, next part is getting those uh, repletes on over. So I'm gonna cover her on up here. Okay, so. Okay, so we've got the queen moved over, and I was fortunate enough to witness that. And now it is the rest of the brood. So we've got the the honeypot ants, which are going to probably be a, a challenge. I mean, they think they could fit through the hole. The biggest thing is being mobile. I don't think they can really walk. They have to they have to hang. Yeah, the, uh, both this colony, my other colony, both fell. Uh, once and died. I think once they fall they can't get reconnected uh, from their little hanging spot, but that's all we've got left as soon as he's uh, remove this light here as soon as um, I get these guys moved over it's I can probably successfully I probably disconnect this one and I'd like to try to catch I'd like to see them actually move these guys I'm curious how they're going to do that. That's a monster larvae there. So you can see the the two major repletes, God, and look how translucent they are. You can see the ants behind it working. You can see some relatively young ants there. They're much lighter in color. They'll regain their color, or they'll gain their color in about a day or two. Um, and then those two, three. You can see the future repletes in the back. Their gasters are are significantly larger, and those guys usually turn into repletes. In, in my experience. Um, you know, not all the time, but there's that. But it, you can definitely see the difference in the gasters in the back. But um, so, I guess the real question is: Are they going to be able to move these two big repletes? Or are they going to? You know, are they going to? I mean, I've I've had a couple die already. So are they going to let these guys go and then just start new ones at the new colony? I don't know. I'm hoping they'll be able to get them over. But they're going to need a lot of help. But yeah, it's amazing how translucent you can see the ants behind them working that's too cool um, and they're moving this big old larvae right here that's, that's a big guy though it's much larger and it, it's kind of interesting to me that they've didn't move it earlier that they're only moving it now it seems like they've moved all the other ones over except for that one so um, sure there's a reason I don't know what it is but As soon as I put the light on it, they dropped it and split. So I'm, well, I've got the camera on the nest. I'm watching them and see if they grab that larvae and move it. Yeah, so I'm wondering what's... Uh, I'm assuming the only reason they're sticking around now is to get the... Uh, yeah, it looks like there are a few little larvae back there. Um, interesting. Looks like they're that big larvae that, that outside the nest. Almost look like they're going to bring it back in, but they looks like they're just struggling with it because it's a wee bit larger. Housekeeping, you know how it is when you're moving. Gotta make sure you don't forget anything. So, not sure what's going on with this larvae out here. Or there. Looks like they're gonna take it back in the nest. Big ant when it emerged when it, it's
Teamwork, guys. Teamwork. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffling here. They'll eventually get it. Definitely a good shot of the replete, so 